<gasps> What's going on people? Welcome back to a brand new video with me, Matt Hall. Hope you're good. Hope you had a good week and hit trains on point and all that shit. Welcome to another video. I want to start this video off by saying a very, very big happy birthday to my granddad who is 89 today. This is filmed on your birthday and I just want to say happy birthday to you, man. Such an inspiration to me for many reasons, a role model to me for many reasons. So I just want to say a very big happy birthday to you, man. Hope you have a good day. Um, I'll be seeing you throughout the whole day. But yeah, I'm just filming this Q&A. On your birthday, man. So happy birthday, have a good one. And yeah, let's get into the Q&A. Hey, Right then people, let's jump into this Q&A. Uh, just want to say thank you for all the questions that you sent me on Snapchat and Instagram. If you aren't following me on either of them, they'll be in the description. My Instagram will be right on here. That is my biggest social media, uh, where I post a hell of a lot on my story and just general posts. It's definitely worth checking my Instagram out. Uh, leave a link in the description as well. But yeah, let's get on with the first question. So the first question is, what are the big goals for 2019? Uh, I would say the first big goal will be to get absolutely shredded when I go on my cut. So for all you guys that don't know, I'm going on a big cut. Oh, going on a big cut uh, first of March. Um, well, it might have to be delayed a couple of days because I am actually going, I think I'm going on holiday the 28th of February to March the 3rd. So it may have to start on March the 3rd um, or March the 4th. Uh, but I'm, get, I'm going on a cut, it's a 16 week cut. And how is this going to work? Well, it's actually a 12 week cut, but it's 16 weeks effectively because I am basically doing a four week like deload kind of because I've got to basically get from like 4,000 calories a day down to 2,500 and that is just not healthy to do in one go to go from like 4,000 one week to 2,500 so I'm doing it week by week so first week will be uh, 3,600 then 3,200 then 2,800 then it would be 2,500 to get myself on my calorie deficit so then I'll be hitting the on the cut, be eating clean, so I'm going to be doing a lot of videos for you guys on how I'm cutting, uh, show you the progress that I'm going on, uh, and then see if I get motherfucking ripped. But yeah, that's a sick question. Next question then, guys, is what are your favourite bulking snacks? Um, my favourite bulking snacks at the moment will have to be the two or the two things I ordered from Bulk Powders last week, which that was the Millionaire Shortbread uh, Protein Bar and the Cookie, which I haven't. I said to you guys. I feel so bad now because I was meant to do a review about that cookie when I had it, but it wasn't during a video because I've, I've been ill early on in this week. If you got me on Instagram, you would know that. Um, but I was ill early on this week and I had one uh, to get my protein in. And I'll tell you what, guys, it is nice. Like, I was comparing it to a Subway cookie and I don't know why, like, why should I be doing that? But compared to a normal protein cookie, man, it's unreal. Like, trust me, check it out, guys. Check out Bolt Powders. Like, literally, they, a lot of their products are sick. Like they're, all their protein bars I've had, there hasn't been a disgusting one. The protein cookie's good. The protein was nice. Uh, they're just their shakers look nice. So it's definitely a, a company that is going places. So definitely check them out, guys. Right then, guys. The next question is, and I'm going to give this guy a little shout out because when I saw the question, uh, when he followed me on Instagram, I checked out his profile and it hit me, man. Like I, 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 I'll take my hat off to this guy. His name is Leo underscore Fit underscore CP. Um, his question is, I'm starting my YouTube channel. I have a disability called uh, mild cerebral palsy. Uh, any tips on growing your channel? Um, basically, man, I'd say the tips for growing your channel is just be yourself. Um, show, don't, be any, don't be any different from what you are in person to what you are in front of camera. Um, just show who you are. Because you don't want to have that fake, like, fake profile of yourself. And then if people meet you in real life and then they think you're a bit of a dick or whatever, you don't want that. Like a lot of people say to me when they've uh, seen my videos and stuff, they say that I'm very the same. Like I'm, I'm so like I am who I am. Like I'm very energetic. I'm very like motivational, and that is who I am. Like being a personal trainer, that is what I do. So that is what the first tip I'd say. And the second tip is just don't let anything hold you back, man. Like literally, you started off the channel. I've seen a couple of your videos uh, on Instagram and a couple of your posts, and they're very motivational, man. Like what you've been through and what you've got is shit like I've, i feel so sorry for you but fair i i tell you this now fair play man for doing what you're doing because it's hard enough for someone that hasn't got that disability or a disability to do it and for you to do that man fair play to you man i hope you go places and he's just started up obviously he's just started up his youtube channel so i'm gonna link his channel in my description 
Uh, please go over and give him some support. Check out his videos, like his videos, show him some love, because fair play to you, man. Right, guys, the next question is, is creatine necessary to build a proper physique? Um, I don't think it's necessary. Like, it's not a have to. Um, I think the have to's are make sure you're hitting the right macros, so your protein, fats, and carbs, make sure you're hitting the right amount of them every day. I think uh, hitting the amount of calories, so if you're trying to bulk, make sure you're in a surplus. If you're maintaining, make sure you're at your, maintain, your maintenance calories. And if you're cutting, make sure you're in a deficit. Uh, they're the things that you have to do um, to make a good physique and to be at the most out of the gym. Creatine isn't a necessary, like I personally take it and I recommend it to people just because I do notice when I don't take it, like my recovery is a tiny bit, a little bit slower and I just feel like I have a little bit more energy in the gym. I know it's not like a massive, like massive difference, but I just feel like it might be mental, it might not be, but when I have it, uh, it just, I'd notice a little bit of energy um, when I'm in the gym. Uh, it's, it's not expensive either guys, it's not like you're spending 40, 50 quid a month, it's like seven, eight quid for like two months worth. So yeah, I'd, I would recommend it to you guys, but it's not necessary. Right then guys, next question is, is it all worth the hassle and effort? Um, of course it motherfucking is guys, you need to get down to the gym and get the goons. Right guys, next question, what are your short, medium and long term goals? So short term is six months, medium term is two years and long term I would say is five to ten years. So my short term goal is for one to reach a thousand subscribers which we are sitting at 880 I think right now. So if you are not subscribed make sure you press that subscribe button. Um, medium term is to grow my personal training business, grow my YouTube channel, grow my Instagram, get my content out there, make more people more motivated to train in the gym and get people more results. And the long term is five years time, man, is maybe own my own successful PT company with people working underneath me uh, as a team and getting more and more people results. And it's a long term goal and it's a big shout, but maybe to hit, I don't know, 10 to 20,000 subscribers will be sick. Like, but I know that's like, maybe unlikely, maybe likely, but if it is guys, thank you so much. <laughs> Right then, the next question is, is, where do you see yourself in a year? I see myself doing exactly the same as what I'm doing now. Personal training, creating videos, because I, I love doing the videos, I love personal training. It's what I love doing, so I can't see myself doing any other job. So I hope to see myself in the next year doing exactly the same, just being that tiny little bit better than what I am now and learn more. Next question is, why do you love personal training? Uh, the reason why I love personal training is basically get people results and you put smiles on people's faces. Like they've had such a shit day and then they come and see you and they kill a workout and suddenly they feel so much better. They take all their stress away from work and they say, thank you, Matt, that was a brilliant session. And that makes me happy. Like if I'm bringing happiness to people, then I'm obviously doing a good job. That's why I love it because it just gets people results and gains. Um, next question is, how many days do I train a week? I train at the moment six days a week um, at the moment on my bulk. Uh, when I go on my cut, it will be six weeks as well, but obviously the training will be different, which I'll explain nearer the time. Uh, there'll be a lot more abs and cardio work going in. So yeah, a lot, a lot of my all day vlogs will be a bit different because I'll be doing cardio work and I'll be doing normal weight training and stuff like that. But I'll talk more in detail in a pre-cut video that I'll be releasing near the time. Next question is favorite place to eat out. Um, Oh, I don't know, man. Like, if it's like a sit down posh meal, I'd say Miller and Carter. But if it's just, oh, I'm going out with the boys or I'm going out with people to get uh, something to eat, I'd probably say Nando's, man. Like, you can't go wrong with the Nando's. Uh, if anyone's interested in my standard order, it is half a chicken, um, half a chicken with coleslaw and chips. Then I have the five, um, five chicken wings. And the spice is lemon and herb, because I am a pussy. The next question, guys, is what do you do other than the gym? What else do I do? Basically, I work, go to the gym, and play video games. That is my life. Like, that is literally my life. And um, sit around at home. I look after my granddad where during the day. If I'm not at work, I look after him. Um, watch a bit of TV, but mainly, I, yeah, I don't really do too much, guys. Like, I used to go out like all the time. I used to go out the weekend. I used to drink alcohol and stuff like that. But now I'm popping on the my fitness, pop on this YouTube, pop on Instagram, pop doing everything, man. Like, I, I I feel like I'm a bit of an inspiration to people. Uh, being a personal trainer, and you're a kind of a role model. So if I'm there going out at the weekend and getting pissed, and like I'm telling them not to, it's a bit of like a hypocrite. So 
yeah, I, I don't do much, guys, but video games is my one. P play PS4, I'll put my PSN in the description for you guys if you want to hit me up. Right well, then, guys, next question is, who are my favourite fitness YouTubers to watch? Um, the fitness YouTubers that I watch at the moment is Glenn Gillen. At the moment, I watch every single video of his when he releases it. I think he's Joker, and he puts out some good ideas. Uh, I watch Matt Does Fitness, who I've watched like since he had like 3K subs, and now he's somehow on like... 300 over 300k which is unreal so fair play to you man and i also watch christian guzman who uh i used to watch loads but nowadays i don't watch him as much anymore because he's gone to like talking about his alpha Lee and if you don't guys don't know he owns alpha Lee clothing um and yeah he he talks a lot about that and i kind of watch videos for motivation and ideas probably the same as you you guys do so yeah I've, i don't watch him as much but if i see a training video that he's put up i'll watch it but yeah that is who i watch on youtube at the moment guys well then guys next question is tips on form uh for lifting bench press more and incline dumbbell press right so a lot of people get the bench press uh, form incorrect basically what they do is you either when you're coming down, you'll come too high, so you come towards your shoulder, you won't come towards your chest, which means you're working your front delt, which then will cause pain in that, because that is not an exercise that you need to be doing your shoulders on, obviously, so you're putting your shoulder under too much strain, uh, or people will bring it too low down, so then they just aren't working their chest as well. And also what they do is their elbows, they won't tuck them the right, so what you wanna do is you wanna unrack it, bring it above, um, bring it over your, over your chest, Bring it down but you want to have the the right amount of tucks you want a 75 percent tuck okay so you don't want it out here or you don't want it right in okay so you want a nice even tuck bring it down keep yourself like tensed keep yourself on the bench keep yourself nice and controlled and drive the rep up man that's basically how you bench um that's how you to improve it really if your form is struggling i would obviously recommend lowering the weight lower the weight get the technique down to a t then as you're ready like as your program says if you hit say 888 and you can go up only go up then don't go up before okay but yeah that's basically my tips for bench right then guys the finale question is this came from one of my instagram followers as well why do you train so late basically if you got me on instagram you'll know that i put a lot of my story um post at me at the gym at like half 11 at night story behind that is basically i co-own a gym um so the gym that i train at is the one that i co-own and I'd PT at another gym. Uh, the one that I co-own is, as I say, the one that I train at. So I know probably 75 to 80% of the people that go there and if and they know who I am around there. So if they if I'm in there at like 6 p.m. at the peak time, there's a problem with either their membership or their entrance card, they'll come to me even if I'm working out. They'll ask me to do it. If I say no, I'll then forget. So then I end up doing it, but then all my rest periods are out. Uh, I've got, then the motivation goes and it just just fucks up my workout man so what i do is i wait i go in late go in with my couple of my mates uh, we all do different plans and stuff like that but we go in we get the job done obviously i can chat to them and stuff but it's controllable chat like they're not gonna ask me to do stuff so literally i go there um train i can do my rest periods and i can get home and do it i know it's not convenient for really it's not my best time like my best time to train is between five and six o'clock i found that out but like i got the best results when i went there but I physically can't get there because if I do go there, I'll get one set done and that is it. So I have to train late at night at the moment. Uh, I'm looking at maybe changing it to maybe in the afternoon, but it's just a pain, man. Like it is a pain that I can't work out when my body tells me that I want to, but it is what it is, guys. I still get good results, still get gains because we're on the gain squad. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, smash that like button of course subscribe if you're new the normal procedure guys it takes four seconds to do both of them and that just shows that you appreciate the video and you appreciate me putting out this content of course comment down below if you want to see more q and a's if you've got any more questions for the next q a comment down below of course and yeah give me some video suggestions guys that you want to see the cutting ones will be coming up shortly I've got my last few bulking ones coming up so when i do hit the february it's gonna be four thousand calories a day so there's gonna be some interest in food uh someday Towards the end, I'm just not gonna give a shit really. I'm gonna like eat takeaway, I'm gonna go out for food, so I'm gonna make it exciting for you guys. So make sure you stick around for that. But anyway, until next time, guys, stay focused, stay positive, keep up for you positive, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>